Om Devaji Sheshnag Yoga Center. What on earth is Kundalini? I'd just like to say welcome to hell on earth. <laughs> yeah. Well that's where we are at the moment. Collectively, we're about to bust out into our heart chakra, but the masses have been misinformed to keep the human expression in the lower three chakras. What are the lower three chakras to do with? They're to do with primal urges like food and shelter and then intimacy on a sexual level and then personal power where in this culture interactions are lopsided to give one person power and the other one no power. It's the same as the story of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden and the tree of knowledge and good and evil. The serpent comes down the tree. Why does it come down the tree? Because originally Adam and Eve are unified with the Godhead. There is no separation. As the serpent comes down the tree and the Kundalini comes down below Brahma Granti, which is at the third above the third chakra, between the third and the fourth chakra, what happens? Eve knows that she's naked, knows that she's separate from the Godhead. Thank you. All of a sudden she's separate from everything, like most people are feeling at the moment, separate from everything. What do they do? Go and consume shit to feel better, but it's only like a band-aid on an internal wound. Because once you come out of the effect of the addiction, the problem's still there. What's being programmed into us? Separateness, nationalistic pride, how people are bad, how people are good. Research it, mate. The worst people on this planet are the bankers. Why? Because I'm paying 860 bucks out of me thousand dollars a month to some fucker for interest. At the end of my loan, I've paid two or three times the original amount. But don't worry, they try and give me a discount and tell me that it's fair that if they give me a 0.12 discount on my loan, it'll be beneficial to me. I'll only be paying this much interest instead of that much interest. Oh, mate. Not to mention the other hierarchies on the planet, but welcome to hell on earth. There's going to be mad... <laughs> cataclysmic shit happening to the psyche of humans. Stay calm in it. Step back. Don't embellish all the bullshit. And don't express too much fear. Because there's dirty bastards in another realm eating your fear. I could sound crazy, but you can't diagnose me. You can if you want. There's a $50,000 challenge too. I'd like anyone to diagnose me or challenge me on what I've got to represent in regards to the Kundalini, the serpent going back up the tree. As all this shit happens, people are getting deconstructed in their psyche. Everything they thought was real is getting taken away from them. Why? Because we're going back to the unification with God, no matter how you interpret it. The snake's going back up the tree. We're unlocking the Brahma Granti collectively. We're coming from the animalistic impulses, which are endorsed by MMA, all the sports. And if you watch Hell on Earth, mate, if you watch so much sport, look at it. They've designed those ads to sit between the players and the field. Very intelligent, mate. I love that part. A computer program that lobs those ads in there. I'm a bit concerned, though, because during the ad breaks, they've got gambling and shit happening. Taking the piss out of me with a brand called Ladbrokes. It's the same as calling the bank nab. The bank nabs you for your coin. Ladbrokes. Wonder what they do. Who knows? But I'm pretty convinced that if my kids watch sport all their life, what's going to happen to them? By the time they're fucking 16, they're going to be alcoholic gamblers. Because the ads are all to do with alcohol. Not all of them. There are some other ads. Mostly to do with alcohol, a high portion. And then in the background you've got glitter and lights. 
that had to do with gambling. Shit. I'm in trouble. Nah, my kids should be right. But most of the unconscious ones out there that are endorsing this sort of shit for validation, who knows where we're going to end up? Just be comfortable that we're endorsing hell on earth, nationalism, separatism, and that will result in war. If we embrace people and go through the Brahma Granti into the fourth chakra, then we might be able to embrace love for the fellow humans irrespective of what they portray as a person. Sheshnag.com, Om Namah Shivaya, <laughs> Hara Hara Mahadev, <laughs> Shravana, 2016, the month of Shiva, go off, he's coming back, why is he coming back? Return of Tantra, return of the truth, bringing Kundalini with him, that's why he's called Nagaraj, the king of the serpent, Om Namah Shivaya, long live the Naga. <laughs>